The Gospels are traditionally inscribed to the authors Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, hence the names of the four Gospels. But the key question we're going to explore today is who actually wrote those Gospels? And it's been a source of uh, question of controversy in, uh, uh, for the last oh, 100, 150 years. In this talk, I'm going to present two basic views, one which I'll call the modern view, uh, which has been more widely held in, let's say, the last hundred years, and then also the traditional view, which is a view that was held for, let's say, the 1800 years before then. So we're going to look at both of them and, and their strengths and their weaknesses. Okay. Now, the uh, first part of the, the modern view, we might say, is that, well, the Gospels were essentially written by a community and then later ascribed to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John in order to add credibility uh, to the work. Now, the main reason that people often say this is because it's also widely held these days by many scholars that Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John were written at such a late date that they, they, couldn't, possibly, they couldn't possibly have been written by the authors that they're normally ascribed to. So uh, the popular theory these days is that all the Gospels were written in 70, after 70 AD, which is the destruction of the temple, and that you, after that you had Mark, then Matthew, then Luke, then John. And so John might have been written in the second century, and it would be really too late uh, for anyone to have written that. And plus, the other Gospels would have been, um, you know, the other Gospel writers would have, have to have been ancient uh, in their own right in order to, to compose those Gospels at the end of the first century. So the first reason is, well, p people simply got too old, and they would have passed their stories down to people, and those people would have written them down and described them to their great teachers. Okay. But there's a re an important rebuttal to this. And the rebuttal is that, well, a lot of people think, for good reasons, that the Gospels were, in, were written before 70 AD, which would put them well within the lifetime of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. John was probably written afterwards anyway, but you know, he's sort of a separate thing on his own. Okay. So that's the basic rebuttal. For more information on this, please uh, look at my video on dating uh, the Gospels, and I'll include a link in the comment section. Now, the traditional view... Uh, is that the Gospels were, were written by these four men, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Matthew and John were apostles, and Mark and Luke uh, knew the apostles. And th that's just the traditional theory of who wrote them. Now, the first reason that we think uh, for the traditional view that the Gospels were written by these four men is that we have testimony from the second century AD saying that, well, these were the four guys who wrote the Gospels. And it's rather strong evidence because the, the evidence for this comes from uh, multiple independent, reliable sources. You know, these are church fathers that we're talking about who would have been uh, advancing the opinion not just of their own private persons, but saying like this was the general view of the time and, and what had reliably come down. So the first reason people thought they were written by these guys is because, well, that, that's what people thought. And reason number two is that there were no other theories. Like there was, it's not like, well, a couple of guys were saying it was Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, but a couple of other people were saying, no, it was Fred and Steve and Irwin and, uh, you know, Bubba. There, there just is no evidence for that. Like the, really the only theory that was around in the second century as to who wrote the Gospels was Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And the third reason uh, we could say this is that each gospel has its own coherent narrative structure, its own audience that it's being directed to. They just don't tend to read like a work from a committee. Uh, generally speaking, they, they have a coherent structure, uh, and they really are driving at something, and the examples that are included are included for a reason. And what they leave in and what they take out, all of these uh, are parts of a, a of a larger strategy. So it looks like the work of one person. If you've ever read something written by committee, usually you can tell. Uh, very different voices come through. Maybe not all the points are coherent. Um, you know, so things just don't tend to fit that neatly together in some ways. So that would be the, the third reason for the traditional view.